Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. We do have a new collection going live today, Friday, October 13th, Friday the 13th, which is one of my favorites, at 3 p.m. Central Time on our Etsy shop. If you are not already a part of our Facebook group or follow us on Instagram, definitely be sure to do so to be in the know and to see everything kind of fully written out and all of that good stuff. So. This collection I'm so excited for. We are continuing our Harry Potter releases. This is Deathly Hallows Part 1. You guys, I cannot believe we have made it to Deathly Hallows. Like, all of them, seriously. And I think I said this about Half-Blood Prince, potentially. But that movie felt like sort of a stepping stone movie and like or book and that's kind of what this collection part one kind of felt like it was difficult for me to sort of find names for these scents i felt almost as though i was grasping at straws so there is 13 cents but i do try to go hard when it comes to harry potter i try to make these blends as amazing as i possibly can and i feel as though i have done so so let's get into the 13 cents we'll go ahead and just jump into it in no particular order Right on top here, we do have Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows will be coming in a two-pack heart waffle shape. I can make so many of these as opposed, as opposed to the large waffle shape. So I started doing these. It is a dark black. Deathly Hallows is a fan favorite blend that actually we just did recently, but it sold out so quickly. And it has been requested multiple times to come back. And I was like, you know what? Let's just put it in the Harry Potter release. It's fantastic. I know you guys love it. It is fresh bread, glazed donuts, and pretzel. It is absolutely delicious. Think of all those delicious bready scents mixed together. You get the sweetness from the glazed donuts, the pretzel has that like saltiness, and then of course the fresh bread is perfect and it evens everything out, and it is fan-freaking-tastic. So that is our Deathly Hallows. Next up we have our snap bar, which is called Seven Harrys, because at the beginning of the movie slash book, seven people take polyjuice potion to turn into Harry, or six people. So there's seven Harrys, and I thought that was kind of funny, and this is in a burgundy color. The blend for this one is vanilla butter fudge, pretzel, and brown sugar. This is delicious. I was almost kind of envisioning, envisioning, gosh, I cannot speak today, Auntie Anne's when making this, because I was thinking about the extra like brown sugar on pretzels, like the cinnamon sugar, and then like that vanilla butter fudge. Oh, it's such a sweet delicious scent very decadent and I love it mixed with basically anything and this is so good the vanilla butter fudge definitely shines in this one which is kind of shocking because pretzel can almost always overtake a blend but it's fantastic in this not with this well it's hard to explain pretzel mixed with other bready scents is amazing but if it's mixed with anything sweet you can almost always smell the pretzel over the sweet scent but this one the vanilla butter fudge definitely shines and it is absolutely fantastic and that is seven harry's then next up we have our cake shape it is a dark green it is the genie the snake okay so i had multiple options for the freaking XL snack bar shape. And I almost went with Najini for it because he, he's she, she's a she, is a snake. But I was like, okay, I already have one for this. So I made it the cake shape, which I know is a little strange, but it works. So this blend is a blend of gingerbread, vanilla custard, and sweet bakery dough. We are slowly getting into the Christmas scents. And I figured let's bring in some gingerbread mixed with vanilla custard and sweet bakery dough. It is a very sweet gingerbread scent, but it is still very true gingerbread. It's like a warm gingerbread like it smells like gingerbread fresh out of the oven and then you get that like sweetness of the vanilla custard that is so good so that is nojini isn't it so weird that like for a mean horrible snake scent it is like deliciously winter time i don't know but i love it next up this is the xl snap bar this is sword of gryffindor i felt like the sword had to be the xl snap bar it just made the most sense so it is in a light gray color to kind of give you like the silver of the sword and it is a blend of cafe vienna celtic or celtic moon spice and zucchini bread i really wanted it to be a sort of spicy coffee scent so mixing in that celtic moon spice it's very like Mm, spicy coffee but the zucchini bread is there as well but this is so good this is one of my favorites from the collection for sure i love a good coffee scent like if i could do like a whole like coffee shop line i totally would because this is so freaking good and this is the sort of gryffindor okay next up we have godric's hollow oh i love godric's hollow i did it in a dark gray it is the two pack clouds and for this one i wanted to do something that kind of reminded me of like halloween which i know sounds weird but that's just kind of what i get like the vibes from that i know they go during christmas time but i just wanted like a kind of more 
Halloween type vibe, but this could also lean Christmas. Whatever. So this is a blend of pumpkin chai, pie crust, and sweet and creamy. I have never used the pumpkin chai fragrance oil before and I was so excited to try it and it is amazing. Mixed with that pie crust and that sweet and creamy, I feel like it really exemplifies the scent and it is so good. This is another one of my favorites from the collection. I'll show you guys my absolute favorite in a minute. But this one is so, so good and the pumpkin chai is like definitely the star of the show here. It's absolutely amazing. So this is Godric's Hollow. And then my absolute favorite from this whole collection, like to be fair, I love all of them, but my absolute favorite was like kind of a weird shocker to me. And that is Ministry Mission. This was named after when they all took the Polyjuice Potion to get into the Ministry of Magic, pretending to be other people. I didn't know what to name it. I went with Ministry Mission. It is available in a wave bar shape, which I love. And this blend was kind of like a shocker to me because there's so many different blends in this collection that I thought could have been like an absolute favorite for me. This one, incredible. It's a blend of espresso, sugar cookie dough, and funnel cake. It seems like, it sounds almost basic, but it is fantastic. There is something about the blend of funnel cake and espresso that just does it for me. It is so good. So like rich and delicious and a little cinnamony. And then you got that sugar cookie dough in there. This is amazing. This is ministry mission. Next up, we have The Wedding. This is The Wedding between, is it Bill and Fleur? Yes, I believe so. I watched this movie forever ago. I did it as a light pink heart because I thought that was cute for like a wedding. And this is a delicious blend. This is pistachio, jelly donut, and waffle cone. All my pistachio lovers, you're going to absolutely adore this. The pistachio is forefront and center, but you do get that jelly donut. And the waffle cone is a sweet little bakery note underneath. It is fantastic. I love this one so much. So that is the wedding. Next up, we have Malfoy Manor. I needed an excuse to use this skull mold again because it is so cool. I probably won't be able to use it for a while, but this skull is like the coolest. So I did it in just plain white. It's Malfoy Manor. And this is a really... Oh, another like perfect winter time scent or any time but like i'm obsessed it is a blend of buttermint and blue sugar buttermint is like those after dinner mints and i feel like that might be my favorite minty smell and then you mix it with like the masculine blue sugar it definitely is a more potent like mint does overtake blend so it is definitely like very heavy on the buttermint but the blue sugar is absolutely there and it is so good <laughs> like i feel like this is one of those melts that like oh I just want it all throughout the house. It smells so stinking good. So that is Malfoy Manor. Next up, we'll do another large shape that I feel like I won't be able to use for a while. It is another mold that I just got recently. And it is the tombstone and it's called R.I.P. Dobby. I just want an excuse to use the tombstone and I felt so bad doing so. Because this is like one of the absolute saddest moments in the whole entire series. But it comes in three different styles. There's this, there's an R.I.P., and there is a Skull and Crossbones. It's a light gray, but the scent is amazing. I had to make it amazing. It is a blend of strawberry pound cake and almond cookies. Again, my almond cookie lovers out there, you are going to absolutely love this one. Mmm, with that strawberry pound cake, that is so sweet and delicious. This is fantastic. So this is R.I.P. Dobby. I feel bad saying that out loud. Next up, we have our mini chunk bags. This comes in a brown and green. It is called Traveling Trio. I put the label on sideways. It's all good. Traveling Trio because this is when they were just kind of going all over the place, staying in a tent and doing whatever. This is a really delicious blend of blackberry jam butter cookies, sugar corn pudding, and sugar cookie royale. I love blackberry jam butter cookies. I love sugar corn pudding. I actually just melted sugar corn pudding by itself the other day, and it was so good. And I love sugar cookie royale. But when you put them all together, it's like the epitome of a fantastic blend it's so good it's so good so that is traveling trio oh my gosh i feel like there's so much up next we have i open at the close speaking about the snitch that harry gets from dumbledore and this is in our two pack donuts and i did a yellow to kind of sort of mimic the snitch this is a blend of apple butter caramel and honey buttered rolls this is delicious i feel like this is another really good like end of fall kind of transitional scent i feel like this would be perfect around november thanksgiving time mm. that is so good the apple butter caramel is just i've never used that fragrance before and it's fantastic. At least I don't think I have. I feel like I've just gotten to this point where I'm like, I've never done that. I've totally done it a million times. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This is amazing. The honey buttered rolls is one of my favorite scent notes ever. And I love it blending with anything. Fantastic in this one. Okay, two more. Next up, we have Grindelwald. Grindelwald? 
how do you say it? I say Grindelwald. Um, it comes in our two-pack tarts. This is a blend of the library scent with pumpkin pecan waffles. I feel like library to me is going to be my new like Palo Santo. When I love mixing Palo Santo with anything bakery, library mixed with pumpkin pecan waffles or library mixed with anything bakery, I feel like is so next level. It is so good. I'm obsessed with it. Like it's masculine, but then you get a little bit of that like pumpkin pecan waffles and it's just so good. It is so good. So this is Grindelwald and I felt like library made sense with the character. I tried. And then last but not least, we have the locket talking about the, was it Ravenclaw locket? Girl, it's been a minute. But this is in a bunt shape, and this is a blend of Huckleberry, White Cake, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I haven't used Cupcakes at Tiffany's in a really long time, and I miss it because sometimes it's just so stinking good. Huckleberry is fantastic, and then mix it with that White Cake. I feel like it's a perfect berry cakey scent. Mmm, that is so good. This one's been sitting for a minute, and it is fantastic. It's only gotten better with time. I love it. So... That's going to be it for our Deathly Hallows Part 1 collection. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. The release will go live today at 3 p.m. Central Time. Be sure to join our Facebook group and follow us on Instagram if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.